I want to talk to you about my flatness tool and the reed plate claws. So formerly I offered the F tool with its own reference bar for straightening reed plates. Uh, when reed plates are not flat, there's not a good contact on the comb and uh, the, the harmonica doesn't play as well or as, uh, have a good tone as it should. Uh, so we need to correct that. We need to make things airtight. Uh, and uh, in the case of the draw reed plate, you could sand it down. Uh, I recommend you also straighten it beforehand, but uh, for most cases, just sanding the draw reed plate takes care of the problem. For the blow reed plate, the contact, uh, the side that's in contact with the comb has the reeds in the way. So we can't flat sand the blow reed plate. We have to straighten it by hand. And so I would offer the reference bar and if the reeds, uh, if the reed plate was uh, bent, you uh, apply the, the F2 and take a pair of pliers and you apply pressure and counter pressure and you bend the reed plate. I've made this process a little bit easier. This works every bit as well as the F tool. It's uh, slightly more convenient. So we're using the flatness bar to measure the flatness of the reed plate. And there's this reed groove uh, that uh, fits in between reeds uh, so that you can get a good look at the, sh the shape of the, the flatness uh, of, of the reed plate. If you have trouble seeing with your eyes, you can always take a shim. This is a uh, one one thousandth of an inch shim and you can probe around and you can see well this is in contact it's not going in but this this slips in very easily we can tell that the the reed plate is not in contact with the comb because it's misshapen so we're going to measure this time and this space on the reed plate, and we can see there's quite a big air space right about at this area. It's a nice U shape. So let's correct that. So you take the reed plate claws, you take one of them, you put it in between the tine, you put the other one on the other side. Now you make sure they're straight, because if you're crooked, you're gonna you're going to run into problems. You're you're going to uh, lose control. So we're just simply going to apply pressure. See how I'm I'm bending the reed plate, and it was further out, so we can sort of modify our grip a little bit to get that correct. So I'm going to look again with my eyes. And it's a lot better. There's just a little bit of light still on this portion. So we're going to put the tool a little bit further this time. And maybe, maybe right about here. Maybe a little bit further out. Right there. So hold with the thumbs. Hold it straight. And then maybe two little bounces to try to fix that. Let's take it. Let's take another look. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Maybe we overdid it a little bit and I need to push out a little bit right in the middle. So I'll put one tool there and one tool there. It's lined up straight. And just one one little one little push. All right, so let's take a look. So here's that plate. And you can see there's only just, there's just a little tiny bit of an airspace. So we've corrected this major bow in you know less than a minute using the reed plate claws and the flatness tool as our guide.